Sleep, how are you feeling about the, about the win? Uh, a mixture of uh, exhilaration and some humility because uh, I, I'm absolutely thrilled to have increased my majority. I didn't think I would uh, get it that high. Um, to be able to by that uh, and I say a bit humbled by it as well. Uh, so you know, I feel a great weight of responsibility in my shoulders. Uh, I've enjoyed representing Milton Keynes in Parliament for the last five years. I look forward to doing so for the next five. And do you have any particular priorities for the next five years in Milton Keynes? Well, yes. I mean, first and foremost, our economy has done incredibly well over the last period, um, and we've got to keep that continuing. And that means looking at the skills agenda locally to make sure employers uh, can recruit the people with the skills and experience they need because it's that economic growth that funds the investment in the hospital and other public services. But also I think we're coming to a, a, a crossroads in the future of Milton Keynes. We've got a housing expansion plan for the next period which gives us a breathing space. But then we've got to make a decision to be continue to grow, do we look at being part of a, of a regional network of Bister uh, Garden City, uh, or what is it? I don't know, fixed ideas, but I, I hope to use my office as a way to help shape that future debate. Brilliant. And obviously, you've lived and worked in Milton Keynes. What are the three reasons that you love it as a place? I don't, well, I came to Milton Keynes after my first job after I graduated from university. That was 22 years ago. I think, first and foremost, it's, it's, it's attitude. Uh, it's got a fantastic, positive, can do mentality. And if there's a, a chat problem or a challenge, people get behind it. You know, and, you know, just watching the dogs last week, you know, year and year, nearly there, nearly there, and then getting promotion. You know, we're in parts of Pete Wiggins' wonderful creation. For Milton uh, Keynes here, North, so interested the first in looking thing. at the draft and results, also just the, please join me at the uh, table now, Mark the, Broughton. The open spaces we have. I mean, what, right Sorry. about in the streets, um, you know, campaigning, that really brought home to you how beautiful the place is with the trees and blossom. Uh, so I love that. And the diverse community we have. Um, and we don't have any of the tensions that other big urban areas have. And people, it comes back to the can-do mentality. People want to make this a very special place. Um, and apart from having some sleep today, how will you be celebrating, obviously, with your volunteers and the rest of your campaign? Well, I think I owe them a, a, a good number of drinks. Uh, they've worked incredibly hard for me, uh, not just over the last few weeks, but many months. Uh, I owe them a huge debt. Uh, and uh, I think I'll have to repay some of that. And have there been any cat scratches or dog scratches this year? In the I've campaign? been remarkably uh, clear of them. I've had a couple of close shaves, <laughs> uh, but uh, all digits are intact. Good, brilliant. Thanks very much, Ian, and Thank congratulations you. Thank again. you very much. Thanks, Ian. Sorry, Steve. Thanks, Mark. Of course.